Governor Cuomo announced today that hospitals and group homes for the developmentally disabled may resume visitations. News Channel 34's Karina Capabianca has more on the decision. It's a big day for families with a loved one in a hospital or a group home. And one father of a disabled young person with autism says the news is a big Father's Day present. This was always a balance of public health versus uh, the personal relationships. Hospitals are able to welcome visitors again at their own discretion while following state guidelines. Same goes for group homes beginning Friday. It is up to the discretion of the group home. They have to tell the state if they're allowing visitors. Uh, and again, they have to follow uh, state guidelines, masks, etc. Bill Getman, who is the head of Northern Rivers Family of Services and a parent of a child with autism, says it's been a hard and scary time. We've been waiting since March to make contact with our kids, and I think uh, the governor and the Department of Health have been trying to balance good health good safety with parental contacts. So uh, we applaud the governor and the health department for opening it up. Meanwhile, visitations at nursing homes are still not allowed. We're still studying it. There's still a high risk. And when the health department uh, advises me that it's safe, we'll do it. I understand the, I understand the demand. I understand the desire. Uh, but uh, the health department doesn't think the reward justifies the risk at this point. Back to group homes, Getman says there are 38,000 individuals who live in them in New York State. In Albany, Karina Capabianca, 